everybody on the pro forum. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so let's see. Topic for the day. I have been chasing and chasing and chasing a solution with my Mac Pro for as long as I've had it. I think I'm coming up on the third year, I believe, I've had this Mac Pro. And the problem is, uh, Bentley, if you're watching this, text me and tell me, ha, 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 we finally figured out the problem. Because Bentley has been helping me um, person after person. And this problem is, or was, that my MacBook Pro, the laptop, would actually do stuff faster in Photoshop than my Mac Pro. And it that don't add up. My Mac Pro had a faster processor. It's got RAM out the wazoo when compared to the laptop. The both of them have solid state drives, but the but the solid state drive in the Mac Pro is a faster solid state drive. It's like it just didn't add up. Why in the world would the laptop be faster? So go figure. I'm talking to the guy who does internet, who I buy internet from, and he was installing a, a wireless access point in my house. And I was telling he's a big Mac guy. I think he has like nine or ten Macs, all kinds. Every I mean, you know, he's like a collector. Okay. Anyway, I'm talking to him about it. And he goes, well, which Mac, which laptop are you talking about? I said, this one right here. He clicks on the little Apple and gets into some backdoor area and starts looking at the specs. He says, I bet I know what your problem is. This laptop has the upgraded video, which it actually has two video systems inside of it. One runs this and the other runs that, you know, blah, blah, blah. He explains to all this technical stuff that I had no idea what he was talking about. He says, but I bet if you go to your other Mac, your Mac Pro, the main mainframe computer, you'll find that the 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 uh, video card that's in there is a basic Mac video card like what comes with a Mac. And he was 100% right. It didn't even have a single gig of RAM on it. It was just a bare bones video card. So I go to Mac Sales. Um, I go in there. I got on with their chat guys and I explained to them what I do. They recommended two different models. One was a $479 one, was a $879 one. And I asked, well, you know, what's the big deal? He goes, well, you know, if you can have multiple monitors and, you know, if you're going to do this, you can do that. Bottom line, the cheaper of the two, a Sapphire, um, Sapphire $7950, Sapphire $7950, cost me $479. And I think they take a hundred and some dollar re credit, whatever you want to call it, on the old one, the old card that came out of there. Well, anyway, bottom line, I just installed it. OMG. This thing, all of my Photoshop problems at this point seems to have gone away. The liquify problem that I would have where I would click on liquify and it would sit there and spin and spin and spin forever, gone. So if you happen to have a Mac Pro, if you happen to have some weird slowdowns that happen, maybe, just maybe, connect with Mac sales people and um, which is, I believe, maxsales.com, and get on the chat thing. Tell them what you got and ask them whether or not there's some kind of way it, they could help you improve. So hopefully that helps somebody out there. Boom. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.